Moths by the masses on garage doors, cars and on patios. Many say it's not the norm. It's even costing people money to get rid of them. Samantha Boring is live at the Great Plains Nature Center to explain why we're seeing the surge of the insects. Samantha. Julia, you may have been swatting moths these past few weeks. Experts say these army cutworms are native to Kansas, and there are two contributing factors that are making these worse this year. Fluttering here and there but not usually to this extent. Miller moths are becoming a nuisance across Kansas. We just noticed that the water heater wasn't working well. These moths look for dark places to hide during the day, like Angie Weber's water heater exhaust pipe. Sure enough, they were packed down in the bottom. She paid $200 to have them removed. It was pretty gross and, you know, not a great thing that they cost me money. An issue hitting many homes. Well, I spend my evening swinging it moths and stuff and trying to kill them. The problem is bringing a surge of calls to patent termite and pest control. And I've done this for almost 20 years and I've never seen anything like it before. Warmer temps and the drought are to blame. We don't normally see this many because when the soil is wet, it kind of creates a fungus um, within it, and that fungus will actually kill these caterpillars. Experts say the moths won't lay eggs or do damage to your home. Soon, the pesky problem will be gone. As big of a nuisance as they are to let them kind of make their way over west so they can go feed some grizzly bears. Over the next few weeks, the moths will head west to pollinate flowers and be a source of food for grizzly bears. As we wait for the moths to migrate, experts say to turn off any unnecessary lights and vacuum them if they are inside. As for migration, they expect them to be fully migrated by June. Here for you in Wichita, Samantha Boring, KSN News 3.